Hey, everybody. We're live at Pace Studios in New York right now with Sarah McDougall. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, of course. Um, so you've got uh, uh, four songs to play for us today, and all four of them are off the current album, All the Hours I Have Left to Tell You Anything. Yes. Um, and you're at Rockwood Stage 3 tomorrow night. You've got a, a handful of shows coming up. You're going to be at... Um, uh, the, the Philly Folk Song Society, you think yeah. the day after tomorrow, is that yes, true? Yes, on Sunday, yeah. Cool. Um, so thanks for doing this. And can you tell us what you're going to do first off of the current album? I'm going to start off with a song called Baby I Know. If things go totally off the rails, start it from the top. Yeah. Don't pretend like it didn't. Yeah, it's all exactly. good. Yeah, <clears throat> I just um, what was it's the what was screwed this. up about that though? Because it sounded outstanding from where I was sitting. Well, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't need to know. It was specifics. the words. I um, <laughs> I started on the second verse. Yeah. You want some booze? <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with another song, just because the lyrics seem to have escaped me right now. <laughs> Should, is there a, can I find them on the internet and print them for you right now? Um, however you want to do it. No, me, yeah, I totally know the lyrics, it. that's a thing. You were always walking a tight road from all Oh, I know it, nice. I know it, I know it. <laughs> okay, this is what happens sometimes when you have 200 songs in your head and you're on the spot yeah well dude and it would be boring if you remembered everything all the time and played it the same way exactly. every single time so <laughs> this is what happens when when things are live it's fucking typical that it's the first mm -hmm. song but it's kind of cool too i think is this when you're out at uh rockwood in the philly folk song society and, and there's a number the the winnipeg jazz fest that's going to be awesome um, is this the arrangement that people see? Are you and Allison playing as a duo, or do people see you solo, or what's what's it look like out in the um, wild? For Philly, I'm playing solo, and tomorrow we're playing together. And sometimes I play with a band. Um, just depends. All right, here we go. Most of your time 
faults again Every day and every night But the givers don't always get All the praise, all the applause So the tiredness sets in It settles in your blood, baby, I know Baby, I know Baby, I know Baby, I know And time moves you on Carry on Carry on To the place we belong Carry on Carry on, baby, I know Baby, I know Baby, I know Baby, I know Thank you. It sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, so can we, t- um, I know where you are from briefly from having chatted with you. I know um, there's a lot of northern latitude in your blood yes. um, <clears throat> on both sides of the Atlantic. And uh, and this was uh, written in an area like that. I mean, it's it, our environment obviously is going to influence everything that we put out. I'm wondering to what degree is uh, those vast wide open spaces and the coldness and the the, the open space, how much does that influence? How much do you find that in your uh, in your work, in this album in particular? Um, I feel like it's in my blood. So it's, it's part of me now. And I think um, the northern landscapes, like, have really, sip, you know, simmered or, like, found its way into my music um, in a way that's, like, you can't really describe it but it's just always there and um you feel like if you for some reason if you am if you ended up in in nashville in five years time that it's going to that it would sound very similar i think it would yeah yeah definitely i mean of course you're you're always like a little bit influenced by the music that's going on around you but i think i think i would still be doing a very similar thing because it you know that comes from me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds very good here in this room. Thank you for closing out our week. This is the last session uh, before the weekend and it's going over very well, I think. And can you tell uh, can you tell us what you're going to do second off of all the hours? Sure. I'm going to do a song called Empire. <laughs> There's a grey wolf on the mountain, you can feel her As she swallowed all the secrets you buried in the deep There's a black sky in the dark cold and it's dressed up with dancing white gold and it's circling through the night and straight into me and we destroyed everything destroyed everything that was good we destroyed everything Whoa, it's 
this our empire? Is this our empire? Whoa. Is this our empire? Is this our empire at our feet? There's so much I could have said and now I'm counting All the hours I have left to Tell you anything We are born in, then we die, and in between we are alive. So let the bells ring, let the bells ring, and we destroyed everything, destroyed everything. That was good We destroyed everything good Whoa Is this our empire? Is this our empire? Whoa Is this our empire? Is this our empire at our Thank you. Um, so we know uh, that the the North has a huge influence on you, bears and trees and wolves and mountains and whatnot. How about, um, I mean, this room always seems so conducive to talking about musical influences. You're standing there in front of the, the Talking Heads tape, the David Bowie tape, yeah. the, the Who, and Tom Petty, Tom Petty and John Lennon. And, and this goes all the way back to 1953. There's Amazing. an Ella Fitzgerald wow. tape. Um, can you talk about who, uh, what artists you were listening to um, while, while you're writing this album? Sure. Um, or even going back further. I mean, the stuff you loved growing up. Yeah. Whatever. I, uh, I've always loved um, Bruce Springsteen, Fleetwood Mac, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen. Um, um, I love like a New York band, The National. Um, yeah. I listen to them quite a bit. Did you see um, any of the Springsteen posters out there? By any chance, no, there's I didn't. one. He did a Playboy cover in '79. I think we've got a, a an original poster from oh, cool. from then of that cover. I touched his leg once. No way, on purpose. Yeah. On purpose. How'd he yeah, feel I kind of went crazy. <laughs> like I, I, I was at his concert and uh, I made myself go to the front row, and then uh, he was right there, and I just like grabbed his leg, <laughs> and uh, it was it was very uh, fit. His leg was very fit? Yes. Yeah, no, I believe yeah, it. it was he, like he looks stone. like he takes care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like amazing for being, I don't know how old he is, but I mean, wow. Yeah. It, he's in such shape. He, well, there's, um, he's probably, probably in his 20s at this time, but there's some tapes, some videotape of him playing at the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. We've got the original tapes just sitting over in that room from, yeah. uh, I think it was a, like a Christmas or New Year's time, 78, um, which I will show you as soon as we wrap here. There's uh, there's some cool Springsteen stuff Very around cool. here. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to see that. 
Um, can you tell us what you're going to do third off the album? Sure. I'm doing a song called We Are Fire. And uh, it's kind of a song for the outsiders. A diamond in between is who you've always been. It's who you've always been Half empty, half complete It's how you're always seen It's how you're always seen You were made from wolves But you're not a monster You're not a monster So raise your head up high Let your feet lift to the sky We were made to fight Don't ask why Don't ask why We are calling me are you calling me your eyes gleam of mountainside and I'm falling in and I'm falling in you were made from wolves so raise your head your feet lift to the sky we were made to fly we are fire we are fire Thank you. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the uh, the production of the album and the, and the songwriting process and, and uh, what it was like working with uh, Marcus? And was, was the whole thing done in Montreal? Is that true? Or did you go to different uh, studios around North America? I went for a, uh, to a few studios uh, in L.A. and in, uh, in Vancouver and uh, did some co-writing and we kind of came up with with uh, the demos that I then took to Marcus and, and we liked the demos so much that we ended up building on them for and 
just keeping what we already had from before and just adding to it. Seems like there's something fancy happening in Montreal right now. Something uh, um, I can't think of the examples that I meant to when I at the beginning of that sentence, but it's we've we've had a number of Montreal artists in here. It seems yeah. like there's something vibrant happening there right now. There's yeah, I feel like it has been for a while. Um, it's a really good scene there. Yeah, I'd love to um, spend some more time there. Yeah. But you know, I I only like I was there for a month, but I was in the studio like. 10 right. hours a day. So. Making your own vibrant cultural thing. Exactly. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, can you tell us what you're going to do fourth and last off the album? Sure. Um, this one is called Cruel Spring, and uh, it's kind of a, a love song from the road. in my head Don't know where to start Where to begin I used to be a conqueror A warrior, a fighter Never afraid But it's been a long day
All right. Sarah, thank you. Allison, thank you. That sounded great. And have a great show tomorrow night. You're at Rockwood Stage 3 at, do you know what time that is tomorrow? At 10 p.m. At 10 o'clock, uh, yeah. Rockwood Stage 3 down in the cave. That place is awesome. Have You said you have been there before, or is this is the first time you will First time. Be, you're going to love it. It's, yeah. it's a cool place to see a show. I'm, cool. I bet it's a cool place to perform a show as well. I'm excited. Um, Philly Folk Fest on Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah. Uh, Winnipeg Jazz Fest on June twenty second, and there are Canadian dates to announce through July. Yeah. Um, it's all up at Sarah McDougal with two L's dot com. And um, congratulations on the all of it. Travel safely, Thank you. and thanks for coming and doing thanks this. Thanks so much, Brad. I appreciate it.